Hello there, it's Shanika. Today I'm going to be reading the book Do Frogs Have Fair by Michael Dahl, illustrated by Jeff Yash. Let's get started. Do Frogs Have Fur? A book about animal coats and coverings by Michael Dahl, illustrated by Jeff Yash. Do frogs have fur? No! Polar bears have fur. A polar bear's fur keeps the bear toasty warm. The inner layer of fur is thick and woolly. The outer layer is made of hollow hairs. The bear's bright fur helps the animal blend in with the snow. Fairy paws keep the polar bear from sleeping on the ice. Do frogs have feathers? No, cardinals have feathers. A cardinal's coat has hundreds of feathers. Short, fluffy feathers next to its body keep the cardinal warm. Strong wing feathers help the cardinal fly. Stiff tail feathers help the bird stir as it flits and flies from tree to tree. Do frogs have scales? No, fish have scales. Slick, shiny scales lie flat along a fish's body. Some scales overlap like shingles on a roof. Some scales fit together like bricks in a wool. Water slides easily over the scales as the fish swims. Scales block the fish's sore body when it bumps against rocks or bigger fish. Do frogs have hair? No! Horses have hair. A horse is covered with a smooth coat of hair. The row of longer hair that grows along the top of a horse's head and neck is called a mane. A horse's tail sometimes has even longer hair. The horse can swish its tail and shake its mane to shoo away pesky flies. Do frogs have fuzz? No, bumblebees have fuzz. A fuzzy bumblebee lands on a flower. Powdery pollen inside the flower sticks to the bee's body. As the bee visits other flowers, some pollen falls off into the blossoms. The pollen helps make seeds for new flowers. Do frogs have bristles? No, hedgehogs have bristles. The back and sides of a hedgehog are covered in stiff pointed bristles. The bristly coat keeps larger animals from eating the hedgehog. When it's frightened, the hedgehog rolls itself into a prickly ball. Do frogs have outside skeletons? No, crayfish have outside skeletons. A crayfish has a hard outer covering called an exoskeleton. As the crayfish grows, it gets too big for this shell. The animal then sheds its covering and eats it. The crayfish hides while it grows a bigger exoskeleton. That will help protect it from enemies. Do frogs have fleas? No, lambs have fleas. Tight curls of fleas keep little lambs warm. When a lamb gets older, this short fluffy hair is cut off, and the lamb grows another coat. The fleece is called wool. It is spun into thread and yarn for making clothes and blankets to keep people warm. Do frogs have shells? No! Turtles have shells. The painted turtle can pull its head and legs into its half shell. The shell protects the turtle's soft body from the sharp beaks of hungry bears. The turtle can also hide inside its shell from enemies such as snakes and raccoons. Do frogs have slimy skin? Yes! Frogs have slimy skin. A frog can soak up water and even breathe through its soft, thin skin. To breathe this way, the frog's skin must stay moist, even on land. A thin layer of slippery slime keeps the frog's skin from drying out when the frog leaves the water. I hope you
you enjoyed the book. If you haven't done already, please click the subscribe button so we can read many interesting books together. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.